Hey everybody, uh, Josh Jensen here from Copy Junction, I'm down in the rod and tackle shop. Um, I just wanted to go over taking apart your reel at the end of the season for us in the north and some other parts of the country. We have two seasons, ice fishing and open water. I like to clean my reels at the end of each ice season, put them on my open water rods, switch them back over to my ice rods, and then I'll clean them again. Um, to do that, I have some Q-tips, a couple of picks, a screwdriver, some awesome real oil, and a toothbrush. Uh, I like to have one or two pieces of paper towel handy just to wipe off excess oil. Um, so let's get started. On this uh, pike pole, I have a Shimano Sienna 2500RD that uh, makes a difference to anybody but for most of our freshwater reels the take apart is the same some have some retention clips some are screw on caps for the spool um, other than that fairly similar setup um, so we'll just cut off this treble here gotta love the Leatherman best everyday carry so we'll cut that off, we'll pull off the, the weight there, we can take the rod, <clears throat> we can take the rod off the, the reel off the rod, we'll set that over here, all right. First, we're going to start with this cap. I happen to know that this cap unscrews, has only a couple threads. There's a little retaining button on here on the top that just holds the retaining clip in this instance in place. So there's a little retaining clip in there. I just like to use a, a little pick and, you know, screwdriver, what have you. It'll all work. So you just kind of work that guy out. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're not. And I like to work on a, a bright surface, that way I can see most of my parts, make sure that I'm not gonna lose them. Okay, so we'll set the main body of the reel aside for a second. Um, in here, there's another washer. I kinda wanna, I like to keep my stuff organized so I know what way to put it in there. So this is just a solid washer, um, or a solid aluminum thing. There's not, not very much for moving parts in there, but you still want to kind of give it a good cleaning. Um, you know, one of the better tips I got from some, some old guy, or I can't even remember now, but, um, is save your old toothbrushes when you're done with them just throw them in your throw them in your tackle box or throw them in your shop you'd be amazed at how much uh how much you use can get out of an, an old toothbrush all right so you just kind of put that stuff back in there first the washer and then we'll just leave that stuff there all right so on spinning reels, there's this post, and that post moves the spool up and down to level wind the line. Um, it gets pretty dirty, actually, especially even after a season of use. You know, it collects a lot of, a lot of gook. So I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel here. I'm just going to wipe that off. Nobody needs any of that. Alright, make sure that it's all the way to the top, so you can get as much of that crap out of there as you can. Alright, there you go. So then we'll roll it back down, bring it back up to the top, and we'll just take a little bit of this real oil, brand new bottle for this year.
put one drop on there. You don't really need a whole lot of this stuff. A little bit goes a long way. You just want to work that in there a little bit. All right. So, I'm gonna take our paper towel. You want to wipe it, wipe off the stuff that doesn't get incorporated because that stuff's just going to catch more dirt. So you just see anything in there. If you see any, if there's any like sticks or leaf debris or anything like that in there, and it's hard to get out if it's caught, just use the pick or something. So, you know, as long as you're gentle, it's not going to hurt anything. You know, that's already a lot better. Um, next, you're going to want to do the bale arm and the bale joint on this side. Uh, so I like these double-sided screwdrivers for this. Most of these screws either have, they're like a, a two screwdriver screw. One has a, the, they have an extended slot for the flathead, or you could use a Phillips. Uh, so it makes it easy to find the screwdriver. Just take and undo it two or three turns. It doesn't take that much. There's a little spring in there, like just like before, just one drop. Let that drip in there, and then just tighten it back up. Look how dirty that was. All right, so I'll wipe off the excess, kind of work it in there a little bit. Just make sure it's tight. Do the same thing to this side. Now this side, it won't present as much of a gap at first, so you know. Don't take the screw all the way out because there are springs in there. But, you know, this one you have to pull out a little bit probably. And just squirt a, squirt a drop in there. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just kind of turn it. drop in there. There we go. Then just push it back into place. Tighten it down. There. Snug. We'll get all the excess cleaned up. That's looking good. So, you got those two things. Looking good. All right, now you wanna take the handle off. That's just the knob on the one side. I prefer my real handle on the left. Some people prefer their real handle on the right. Just pull it out, that has a little square retaining nut. You can see inside here it's pretty pretty dirty too. So you just want to hit that with the brush a little bit. <laughs> Same thing on the other side, just hit it with the brush a little bit. <laughs> Alright. And drop for each side. Gonna kind of actually we put two drops in there. One on the top and one on the bottom, just for good measure. Top. Bottom. And you know, the reason why you want to do a drop in there is because um, there's a bearing on each side of the reel, and that's just gonna gonna help reduce the wear and tear on your on your stuff there. Um, you know, you can look at the look at the threads. These still look like they have quite a bit of 
lube from the factory on it, so we'll leave that alone. And you just screw it back together on whatever side you want. And that's about it. I mean, that's pretty dang good for four ball bearings, I would say. Whoop. And then me losing stuff. All right. So, let's put everything back together. I'll get our little retaining clip, make sure that gets back on there. Put the washers back on there. Make sure that this button is on either side of that retaining clip. There you go. All ready for open water. So, if you guys want to know where to get this stuff, it's dig in fishing reel oil. Yep, the same company that makes those great digging anchors that Emily and I use. Decided to, <coughs> decided to come out with some real oil. We've been using it for a little bit and it seems like it's working pretty good. Um, you don't need a whole lot. You know, a lot of some of the other ones are, you have to put quite a bit on there. This one, just a couple drops here and there and you're good to go. So, Go over to, uh, I don't know, get a hold of Diggin' Anchors, ask for a bottle of this, and you'll be set for the season. Um, if you have any questions, get a hold of me or contact Diggin' Anchors at digginanchors.com.